Okay, so I have Miss Johnson here with me today. Um, Miss Johnson fell um, back in January, almost a year now, and broke her right shoulder. Um, so when you first fell and you uh, you went to another orthopedist outside of here, what did that orthopedist tell you? Um, it was broken in two places. He said it looked good, didn't have any movement, um, wasn't out of movement place, and uh, it would heal fine. Mm -hmm. Just we'd leave it alone. I, I wore a sling, and it did heal, and then it started getting worse. Right, and there's nothing wrong with that assessment, but what happened is it didn't turn out for her. Um, Ms. Johnson still continued to have pain. Her bone did heal, but she couldn't lift her arm. And I have, as she came in to see me, she could only lift her arm about 60 degrees. And what was your pain level at that time out of 10? It was about a nine or 10 at all times. Okay, so severe pain, and she could only lift about 60 degrees. And then today, we're six months out from her surgery, which I'll show you a little bit about. Um, we did a reverse shoulder replacement on her, which is a fairly new procedure. And let's see what you can do today. Let's have you lift your arm forward as high as you can go. Great, and bring it down. Excellent, and I'm gonna have you hold here. Don't wanna be pushed down, hold strong. Good, she's got very good strength. Hold there, don't wanna press in. Okay, I'm gonna let you rest. And I'll take you over here and show you what she had. So this is her uh, 3D CT scan from before the surgery. You can see her bone doesn't look so bad. The other orthopedist was right in the sense that it would heal, and it did heal. Uh, to the trained eye though, this looks a little bit off. She has what's called a malunion of the shoulder, and her rotator cuff, which is connected here, is dysfunctional, not working. In the past, there was no solution for that whatsoever. Um, what's the latest treatment though is that we can do something called a reverse shoulder replacement. And that's this model here. Uh, rather than doing a regular shoulder replacement where we have the ball on the humerus side and the cup on the scapula, we've switched that. That's why it's called a reverse. And what that does is it makes her shoulder function without a rotator cuff. So the rotator cuff that would normally be here and was injured in her fall, we no longer need that in order for her to lift her arm. And so what that looks like on post-operative x-ray, this is her x-ray from today, is this. So what you're looking at is this same model flipped over. So anyway, this is a great example of what a reverse shoulder arthroplasty can do for somebody that fell and had a fracture. We do use it for arthritis, but in this case it was used very well for a fracture.